Hello dear students, welcome to LMS, myself Prashant Nanitya, working as an assistant professor in Government First Aid College Basana Bhagavad. It's affiliated to Rani Chandama University. Today let me discuss about income from house property. In the previous video, we already discussed about meaning, definition and types of house properties and uh, some problems and uh, which are the deductions are available under the head income from house property. Now let me see some more problems in this video. Okay. Okay, dear students, let me see some more problems. Here, Mr. Mandi owns a house in Chitradurga. During the previous year, 2019-20, two third portion of the house was self-occupied and one third portion of of house was let out for residential purpose. Here. Only one house have by the Mandip, but here the house is partitioned into two. Okay, one part of the house is two third, another part is one by third. Means one portion of the house is two by third of the total house, and another portion is one by third. Okay. Here, two third is uh, is for the purpose of self occupied. Two third portion is used using for self occupied, and one third is let out. The rental value of that house means which house? Mandip house one third portion let out rent amount is eight thousand five hundred per month. Municipal value of the property is three lakh fifty thousand per annum. Here, this municipal value is for whole house, not for two third or not for one third portion. Okay, we have to we have to determine the value for two third portion and one third portion for our calculation. Okay, the municipal value is for whole building. The same rent also uh, the fair rent also the same. The fair rent of the well, uh, fair rent is two lakh seventy thousand per annum, and standard rent is three lakh eighty thousand per annum. He paid municipal taxes rupees thirty five thousand during the year. Here, the all the values or uh, all the amounts which are given, this these are these are all the amounts for full portion of the house. Here, a loan of rupees twenty five lakh was taken by him during the year two thousand fifteen for acquiring the property. For acquiring of the property, he took loan of rupees twenty five lakh in the year of two thousand fifteen. Interest on loan during the previous year nineteen twenty was rupees one lakh twenty thousand. Interest on loan of rupees twenty five lakh is rupees one lakh twenty thousand. Compute Mandeep's income from house property for the assessment year twenty twenty one. Okay, let me um, let me compute the income from house property. Before that, <coughs> the whole building you have to divide into two parts. One part should be two by third. Another part is one by third. One by third is let out property. Two by third is self occupied. The self occupied house property annual value will be nil. And then <coughs> for the let out portion, we have to compute the annual value. Okay. Here uh, for the actual rent, actual rent received is eight thousand five hundred per month. But while calculating the expected rent. We have to convert that 
uh, amount the municipal value fair rent and standard rent to the one one third portion let us see the solution here competition of income from house property of mr ramandeep for the assessment year 2021 here here unit 1 unit 1 is two third area self occupied the self occupied portion annual value is always nil self occupied house property annual value is always nil here but deduction is available deductions is available which deduction is available means only interest on loan borrowed for acquisition of the house property or construction renovate or reconstruction for this purpose interest is allowable but 30% of standard deduction is not available for the self occupied property so for that here annual value is nil and then deduction under section 24b <coughs> the total interest paid during the year is 120000 here now at present we are calculating the uh, income from house property for self occupied portion unit 1 self occupied portion for the self occupied portion is two third portion so this interest 120000 interest Uh, for self occupied portion will be the 80000 80000 this is the interest for two third portion of self occupied okay so for that here annual value is nil the deduction amount is 80000 so for that the net income or loss is rupees 80000 that is loss loss rupees 80000 so for that loss in it Loss from unit one is rupees eighty thousand. There is no income from house property in this house property. The SSC is incurring loss. Let me go to the next unit. Unit second, that's one third one third area let out. This is the let out portion. Let out portion be let out. <coughs> Municipal value is rupees one lakh six. Sixteen thousand six sixty-seven. Municipal value is one lakh sixteen thousand six sixty-seven. Okay. Now <coughs> we we require to calculate annual value for letter portion. Letter portion is one third. Here. The annual value for calculating the annual value, what we require, we require expected rent and actual rent. Actual rent we know that the rupees eight thousand five hundred per month. It's clear. It's no confusion in the actual rent. But the confusion is in expected rent. Here the municipal value and fair rent, whichever is more, the municipal value is one lakh sixteen thousand six sixty seven. How it's? How it means the municipal value for the total portion is is rupees how much? Three lakh fifty thousand. Three lakh fifty thousand for whole portion. Then how much for one third portion is for one third portion the value is one lakh six sorry one lakh sixteen thousand six sixty seven. Then fair rent, fair rent, fair rent is for one third portion is ninety thousand. Okay, fair rent, fair rent for one third portion is ninety thousand. Here the fair rent, fair rent is two lakh eighty thousand. This is for Full hours. Then how much for one third portion? One third portion means it's nine lakh. Uh, sorry, ninety thousand. So this is the ninety thousand. The municipal value for one third portion is one lakh sixteen thousand six sixty seven. The fair rent for one third portion is ninety thousand. 
okay so for that whichever is more whichever is more 1,16,667 is more whichever is more has to be considered the but the more amount should not be more than standard rent okay either municipal value or standard rent but restrict it to either municipal value or fair rent whichever is more but restricted to standard rent restricted to standard rent so for that here why after after we get uh, comparison with the municipal value and standard rent <coughs> the higher value has to be taken higher value is 1,16,667 but the standard rent for one third portion is 1,26,667 though but Yes, the whichever is less amount has to be taken. This lesser amount is one lakh sixteen thousand six sixty seven. So here expected rent will be one lakh sixteen thousand six sixty seven. Then actual rent received for one third portion is eight eight thousand five hundred per month for twelve months one lakh two thousand. So now we have to compare with these two. Okay. One lakh sixteen thousand six sixty seven and one lakh two thousand. Whichever is higher, that has to be considered, or that has to be treated as gross annual value. Whichever is higher means expected rent is higher. So expected rent one lakh sixteen thousand six sixty seven. This is will be the gross annual value. Okay. So here, gross annual value is one lakh sixteen thousand six sixty seven. Out of this, municipal tax has to be deducted. The municipal tax paid by the owner is rupees thirty-five thousand for whole house. For let out portion, he paid eleven thousand six sixty-seven. Okay, here municipal tax paid for self-occupied portion is not allowable for deduction. Why? Because means the self-occupied portions net annual value itself is the nil. so it is not allowable for deduction here municipal tax has to be deducted out of the gross annual value but in case of self occupied house net annual value itself is zero so any deductions is not available except interest interest on loan borrowed from the institution financial institutions for the purpose of construction of house here <clears throat> so for that net annual value is 1,5000 after deducting the municipal tax paid by the owner for a let out portion so here then under section 24 30% of annual value net annual value as standard deduction the 30% on 1,5000 means 31,500 then interest paid on borrowed capital Interest paid on borrowed capital is one lakh twenty thousand. Then for we are calculating for uh, uh, let out portion. So for that one lakh twenty thousand into one by three. That is one by three portion is the forty thousand. Except eighty thousand. Whether it is available for deduction or not? Yes, it's available. It's also deducted in the first first unit. In the first unit, we are deducted the Eighty thousand interest out of one lakh twenty thousand. Okay. For the second unit, remaining forty thousand here we are deducting. Total one lakh twenty thousand whole interest is deducted. Eighty thousand for self-occupied property, remaining forty thousand for let out property. Why eighty thousand? Why forty thousand? Means because it's based on proportionate of all occupied. So the total amount is seventy one thousand five hundred. Thirty percent standard deduction and interest. Then out of one lakh five thousand, if we deduct seventy one thousand five hundred, how much amount? Thirty three thousand five hundred. This is the income from second unit. Means let out unit. Let out in unit in the na mige more more so the ainu rupee aada ya bandhi the. But At gross total income from house property, 
ಎಷ್ಟು ಬಂದಿದೆ ಅಂತ ನೋಡೋದಾದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ತರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಕಮು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯೂನಿಟಿಂದ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಬಟ್ ಸಾರಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಯೂನಿಟಿಂದ ತರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಬಂದಿದೆ ಬಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯೂನಿಟಿಂದ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡು ಲಾಸ್ ಇದೆ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡು ಲಾಸ್ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡಿರೆಕ್ಟ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಆರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ತ್ರೀ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ನೆಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನೆಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಓಕೆ ಲೆಟ್ ವಿ ಸಿ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ Mr. Prashant has three houses, all of which are self-occupied. Mr. Prashant has three houses, and all of which are self-occupied. Three houses, and all of which are self-occupied. Here, in case Sassi have more than two houses, or if Sassi shows more than two houses as self-occupied, then on that situation, what we have to do means, or as per tax law only any two houses can be treated as self occupied property rest of the two houses were treated as deemed to be let out property andre eradu house na varutu padisi eradu house na varutu padisi ulida ella house galanna let out deemed to be let out property ante nu namu consider maduthivi eradu house matra self occupied property anta torislike avakasha untu so for that <coughs> the particulars of the houses for the assessment year 1920 are as under the municipal valuation per annum the municipal value for the first house is 3 lakh second house is 3 lakh 60000 third house is 3 lakh 30000 fair rent fair rental value is 3 lakh 75000 2 lakh 75000 and 3 lakh 80000 the standard rent is 3 lakh 50000 3 lakh 70000 and 375000 then date of completion or purchase when they completed the construction of house or when they when they were purchased the house the first house was purchased or completed the in the year of 1999 31st march in case of second house it was completed in 30th march 2001 in case of last third house it was completed in the year of 2014 april 1st next the municipal tax paid by the paid during the year in this year the whole the in this year the municipal tax paid <coughs> is 12% for the first house here the 12% as given the on which value we have to take taken 12% as municipal tax on the basis of municipal value we have to take 12% here the municipal tax paid during the year here here there is no clear cut information whether the owner paid municipal tax or tenant paid here in the note we can we can give we uh, <coughs> the municipal municipal tax paid by the owner we treated as municipal tax paid by the owner ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಒಂದು ನೋಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟರೆ ಓಕೆ ಸಾಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಯರ್ ಏಟ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಮುನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪೇಯಬಲ್ ಆನ್ ಮುನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ದೆನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ತರ್ಡ್ ಹೌಸ್ ದೆನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಮನಿ ಬಾರೋಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ರಿಪೇರ್ ಆರ್ ರಿಪೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ದಿ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಪೇರ್ ದಿ interest interest amount is 55000 means here loan amount is not given how much loan they they were borrowed for a uh, repay uh, okay <coughs> means here they they borrow the loan loan for repay okay the interest on borrowed amount is rupees 55000 interest for current year on money borrowed in july 
ಫಾರ್ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ಹೌಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿನ ಪರ್ಚೇಸ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಅವನು ಮನಿ ಬಾರೋ ಮಾಡಿದ್ನಲ್ಲ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ತರ್ಟೀನಲ್ಲಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಅಸೆಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಸೆಸ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಿನಿಮೈಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬಿಟಿ ವಿಚ್ ಹೌಸಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ಆಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬಿಟಿನ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡೋ ಒಂದು ಉದ್ದೇಶದಿಂದಾಗಿ ಯಾವ ಹೌಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿನ ಅವನು ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ಅಂತ ತೋರಿಸಿದ್ರೆ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಬಿಟಿ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ನೀವು ಈ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ನ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಮೂಲಕ ತೋರಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಈ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಅಸೆಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಮುನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆರ್ ಫೈ ರೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಬಟ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ಮುನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಮತ್ತು ಫೆರೆಂಟ್ ಎರಡರಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ್ದು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರುತ್ತೋ ಅದು ಆದರೆ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ರೆಂಟ್ಗಿಂತ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರಬಾರ್ದು ಆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಬೇಸ್ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹೌಸಿಂದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ರೆಂಟು ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇದೆ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಹೌಸು ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡು ತರ್ಡ್ ಹೌಸು ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕ್ಲಾರಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಮುನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮುನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫೇರೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಐದರ್ ಮುನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆರ್ ಫೇರೆಂಟ್ ವಿಚ್ ಅವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಮೋರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ದಿ ಮೋರ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ is is more than the standard rent so for that standard rent has to be taken 3 lakh 50000 is it 3 lakh 50000 then next in case of second house 3 lakh 60000 2 lakh 75000 which are is more 3 lakh 60000 is more whether it is more than standard rent no it is less than the standard so we have to take 3 lakh 60000 yes ತರ್ಡ್ ಹೌಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಮುನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಫೇರೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಅವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕಂಪೇರ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ಅವರ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ರೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಯರ್ ದೆನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮುನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಪೇಯ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಓನರ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ದಿ ಮುನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ paid by the owner here one more thing here actual rent received is not taken why because why because means here mr prashant is not let out the hini property
36,000. The next 331,200 in the second dose 360 minus 28,800. At last 335,200. Okay, this is the net annual value. The next less deductions under section 24. Under section 24 only allowable is one the deductions. 30% of annual value means here if first house is let out and the time only only this deduction is allowable if self occupied there is no question of deduction of 30% uh, annual value here in case in all three cases also the same if any two houses he occupied in self occupied on that situation the net annual value the, the net annual value the same okay but the deduction on standard deduction at 30 percent is not allowable why because that the net annual value will be the nil if any of these two property for example if the if mr prashant self occupied the second house as well as third house and that situation the net annual value of second and third house is nil okay is nil so there is no question of 30 percent deduction on annual value because the if the annual value itself is nil if you uh, deduct 30 percent 30 percent of annual value means zero no not available okay here we assume that we assume that if any property if any property is still not yet decided which property has to be self-occupied so for that for all the properties are treated as later properties then later we will decide which which are which property income is less then those properties will be let out income from house property the 2,19,800 in case of first house means if Mr. Prashant let out the first house he will get the income of rupees 2,19,800 if Mr. Prashant let out second house he will get the income of rupees 1,76,840 or this is maybe the income or taxable uh, taxable income from house property okay these are income from house properties then in case third house is let out then income from house property will be the 73,640 here now Mr. Prashant can opt to treat any two of the above house properties as self occupied it's an option to Mr. Prashant he can took any property any two property he can opt any two property as self occupied and rest of one he can be let out let me see which of those properties has to be self occupied and which one has to be let out for the purpose of reducing the tax liability. here option one option one if house one and two self occupied and third deemed to be let out if the if Mr. Prashant occupied first and second house and and third let out deemed to be let out then then if first and second are opted to be self occupied the income from house property shall be income from house property shall be for first house is nil first house income from house property is nil why because means if any house property self occupied on that situation the on that situation or for that house property is value is either will be nil or it is loss only two options in case of self occupied property only two or two value you will get either nil or loss now 
ಒಬ್ಬ ಅಸಸ್ಸಿ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಔಸನ್ನು ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ತೋರಿಸ್ತಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಅಥವಾ ತೋರಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಆ ಔಸ್ನ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಯಾವತ್ತೂ ಕೂಡ ನಿಲ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಥವಾ ಲಾಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ತೋರಿಸುತ್ತೆ ನಿಲ್ ಯಾಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ದಿ ಆನಿಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಫ್ ನಿಲ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆನಿಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ನಿಲ್ ಆನಿಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂನೇ ನಿಲ್ ಆದಂಥ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಯಾವುದೇ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಅನ್ನು ಜನ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಜನ್ರೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಾಧ್ಯನೇ ಇಲ್ಲ ಆಯ್ತಾ ಸೊ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದಿ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಐದರ್ ನಿಲ್ ಆರ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ನಿಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಲಾಸ್ ವೈ ಲಾಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಪಾಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಕರಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಸಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಬಾರೋಡ್ ಲೋನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಲೋಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಈವನ್ ದಿ ಆನೆಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ನಿಲ್ ದಿ ಆನೆಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ನಿಲ್ ದಿ ಆನೆಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ನಿಲ್ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಇಫ್ ಇ ಆಪ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರೀ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ದಿ ಆನೆಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ನಿಲ್ but there is no question of standard deduction at standard deduction of rupees 99360 but here here the interest borrowed for repair or renewal is restricted to 30000 here the annual value is nil the interest is 30000 so for that loss from the second house is 30000 the next last house if deemed to be let out then then that house property income is 73640 idu let out madidanta sandarbhadalli idra aada estu irutte 73640 irutte ee eradu house property na house property 1 matte house property 2 na self occupied madidanta sandarbhadalli idu annual value nil agirutte annual value nil agirutte ಆನೆಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ನಿಲ್ಲಾದಾಗ ನಾವು ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಡಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಲ್ಲೇನು ಇರಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿಗೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹೌಸಿಂದು ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಬಾರೋಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಿಲ್ಲಿದೆ ಹಂಗಾಗಿ ಇದು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಿಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ಇಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದಿ ಆನೆಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ನಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ಬಾರೋಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟು ತರ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ is the loss okay this is in option 1 then next option 2 in the second option if the assc assc opt first and third as a self occupied and third uh, and second as demutabilitated if you suggest to mr prashant if you, if you opt first and third as a self occupied property and second second is demutabilitated out and that situation the income will be the 1840 only why because means for the self occupied of first house first house and on self occupied mad in the sandarbha le annual value nil irutte iga now last option alli avaru the calculate madidva adhe rite then in case if e demutabilitated out second property demut to be let out second property the income is income is 176840 then if third third house this is self occupied house self occupied house then the loss is 175000 why its loss why it loss means here interest on borrowed capital 175000 the annual value itself is nil but the interest is deducting so far that the loss from the third house is 175000 nan yake self occupied house property nil agirutte anta heltidini andre illi illi en idiyala 355200 now annual value anta helidivala idu nil agutte yav sandarbhadalli ಯಾವ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ಹೌಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿನ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಆಕ್ಯುಪೈಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಆನೆಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ನಿಲ್ ಆನೆಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂನೇ ನಿಲ್ಲಿದ್ದಂಥ ಸಂದರ್ಭದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟನ್ನು ಲೆಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್
this whole 1,75,000 is the last from third house property. So, this is the last. So, <coughs> if second house property is let out, he, Prashant will get 1,76,840 and then from self-occupying of third house, he get loss of rupees 1,75,000. The difference amount is, means profit portion is only 1840 means only on 1840 it is the only income from house property only for this amount he has to pay tax if he opt first and third house as self occupied and second as deemed to be let out that you see in third <coughs> in third option second and third self occupied and first deemed to be let out second and third both were uh, taken as self occupied okay okay in the third option if the ssc opt second and third house as self occupied and first house deemed to be let out situation just a minute okay in case if the ssc opt to third option means second and third house is treated as self occupied and first house as demotivated and that situations he will get the income of rupees uh, 290,800 as uh, income from house property from first house. First house is deemed to be let out. First house is the first income. The first house is the first house. 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 The first house the if the first house was let out, then income from house property will be the 290,800. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Deemed to be let out, then the income first house is deemed to be let out, then income of first house is 290,800. Then for the second house, the loss of rupees 30,000. Why? Because for, for the second house, he took a uh, loan. He borrowed loan for recon, repairs, repair purpose. That loan interest is 35,000 but restricted to the only 30,000. So for that the loss 30,000 incurs from the second house. In case of third house, if third house is also self-occupied by himself, then loss is rupees 175,000. Why? Because the interest interest on acquisition of loan is 1,75,000 so hence the total interest allowable for the SSC per annum is 2 lakh if if he have many houses more than 2 houses, 3 houses, 4, 5 whatever the houses he may have but for from all the houses he the interest deductible for individuals or for any ssc is maximum limit is 2 lakh one the shikano maximum maki erad lecture rupai interest na deduction nagi claim malik matra avakashi rute adikinta just interest in the avakashi run so agagi first house in the unigi erad lecture the atomo sarpa in nurpa income barute yavaga third house and a letter or sorry first house and letter mari second number the third house and a self act per nurde first <laughs> The interest deductible maximum amount is 2 lakh. 
So for that rest of the 19,800 will be the income from house property. So based on this, based on this, we can conclude that here the SSC has to be opt which option will reduce his income that option definitely reduces tax liability why because means the tax liability is levied on the basis of taxable income or income of an SSC when the income reduce tax is also reduce when the income grows tax is also grows because this is direct tax in the direct tax is on progressive nature as a say income yavaga jasti agutta avaga tax kuda jasti agutte tax income kadame adaga tax kuda kadame agutte so hagaki nami nam ilhena judge madbekagutte yava option anna tagobekagutte andre yava option inda assessigi income kadame idyo aa ondu option anna tagobekagutte in case third option tagondre 19800 rupees mele on tax kattbekagabohudu Second option to one the income tax First option to one day forty three thousand six forty is the income from house property. So, so from this, our calculation we come to conclude that the second option is very better. Why? Because income from that option is very less if the associate opt to opt first and third house as self occupied and if he let out second house second house and now let out maadi first to mathe third house and now self occupied maadi dhe avaka omnige income kadame agathe income yava kadame agathe avaka tax kuda kadame agathe so since option 2 is most beneficial Mr. Prashant should have to do treat house one and third as self-occupied and house second as deemed to be let out his income from house property would be the 1840 for the assessment year 2021 by all these videos i hope that you are you are will understand about the income from most property okay and then uh, for more details you should go through the original books uh, this is land practice income tax land practice by mehrotra or direct tax by bb lal or you may go through the other authors tax one publications authors are also good okay uh, you may refer some other books okay thank you thank you on and all.